These 21 short videos will help you quickly see and understand the relationships and patterns among various types of irregular verbs in English so that you can use them correctly. Verbs like ride, This video will help you see relationships among various types of irregular verbs in English. The key to understanding irregular verbs is to look for and notice the patterns. Number 12, verbs like ride. Now these are slightly different from the ones we discussed before. Verbs like ride take on an en ending in the past participle. They take on a different sound shift in the past and the past participle. So the two sounds in the past and the past participle are different. Let's look at some examples. Let's start with the verb ride in this case. You'll notice that with ride it shifts sound in the past ride, road, and then it shifts to another vowel sound in the past participle. So it's ride, road, ridden. Two different sounds, vowel sounds, in the past and the past participle. But the other sounds remain the same. The consonant sounds remain the same. So let's look at some examples. Drive, drove, driven. Ride, road, ridden. Rise, rose, risen. Write, wrote, written. Smite, smote, smitten. Now the next set, the ones in purple, follow the same pattern in that they have a different sound in the past from the sound in the past participle. So let's look at the verb give. Give, gave, given. Forgive, forgave, forgiven. Forbid, forbade, forbidden. Now some people say forbade in the past tense, but it follows the same pattern in that it starts with one sound, shifts to a different sound in the past, and then shifts again to another sound in the past participle. Let's look at the third set, the ones in blue. These go from one sound to another and then they come back to the original sound. For example, take, took, taken. You'll notice that there's a sound shift in the past and then they go back to the original sound, a, in the past participle. Forsake, forsook, forsaken. Mistake, mistook, mistaken. Shake, shook, shaken. With the purple ones, it follows the same pattern in that it returns to the original base form when pronounced in the past participle. Give, gave, given. Now we'll see some variations on verbs like ride. Notice that they have the same en ending, but the past tense is going to be different. For example, eat, ate, eaten, beat, beat, beaten. Now notice with beat, there is the same word in the base form and the past form. Kind of like hit, but the past participle has an en ending. The last is fall, fell, fallen. This one returns to the original sound fall, fallen, vowel sound in the past participle.